Hello, in this class of LT, we are going to discuss about LT KPI. KPI as a key performance indicator. Now, as key performance indicators are required to check out the performance of the network. So, we have LTI KPI. So, these KPI's values are required to check performance, performance of network. That means in optimization process, we require to have check on the KPI values and accordingly we require that what is the performance of the network as the name depicts that this is key performance indicators. So indicators of your indicators of performance parameters. So we have some KPI list according to the services and as per the services we require to check the number of the total performance of the network. So we have categories of KPIs as we have number of KPIs starting from we have accessibility KPI. We have a list of Retainability KPIs, then we have Mobility KPI, Accessibility, then we have Retainability, Mo Mobility, we have Service, Integrity, KPI, we have Availability KPI, Service Integrity Availability KPI, we have Utilization KPI, KPI and then we have Traffic KPIs. So we have total number of 7 categories of key performance indicators. Like first one is as Accessibility KPI. So in accessibility KPI, we have the number of KPIs those who are required for in order to access the network. So to access the network, all of the services, all of the messages are organized under accessibility KPI list. Under retainability KPI, we will discuss various KPI, those who are responsible for retainability of the services. That means how much I am capable, network capable to have retainability of a particular service. Then we have mobility, which deals with whenever user moving from one location to another location. So we have a category which is mobility KPI. Then we have total service integrity KPI. Service Integrity KPI has a list of KPIs those who are responsible for various services. Then we have Availability KPI, resources available to the user. What are the parameters for that? How much resources we are utilizing? Those are under Utilization KPI. And then as for the traffic, total number of users, so we have under Traffic KPI. So these are the major seven categories of the key performance indicator. Now we have more number of KPIs under each and every category that we will discuss in our classes. So today let's start with the very first KPI which is Accessibility KPI. So our topic today which we are going to discuss now is Accessibility KPI. So this is a category of accessibility KPI. Now why we require accessibility KPIs in the system? So accessibility KPIs are used to measure probably whether services requested by the users. That means it can be required to measure, measure that whether services 
requested by user whatever the services i have requested can be accessed in given time or not so can be accessed in given conditions so the term here as accessed so if i have requested for if this is a user equipment and it has requested for a service so we require to check that whether the service is accessed in in a radio conditions or a given conditions or not now who will provide as a conditions with the conditions will be provided by eu t rand part which is evolved universal terrestrial radio access network in which we or evolved packet service now we have these two parts and service will be forwarded that means service will be granted to the user equipment by these parts eu t rand or the core network so we require to check out that whether the services those services which are requested by the user can be accessed or not so all of the factors under this will be under the category of accessibility kpi in which we require to measure the services access now we have two messages under this criteria as first one as rrc rrc and this rrc stands for radio resource control this radio resource control is between the user equipment and eu t ran part that means the e node b so here in this part we have rrc and next is erab which is evolved radio access bearer now bearer are the services so evolved radio access services as my major concern is that means services should be accessed within a given time so i have these various services and radio resource control is working on this part so very first service is that means very first list of kpi under accessibility kpi is rrc setup success rate for service so first one is rrc rrc setup success rate for service now whenever user equipment wants to communicate to the e node b so there is a setup of radio resource control for each and every service or for signaling there is a setup of radio resource control now whenever radio resource control is fully established between the two ends then only ue can access the service otherwise not so that means it become an important point in accessibility kpi that there should be read rrc which is radio resource control setup success rate and for service now we have some messages so i can say that this service is so this is a case of establishment cause so we will have establishment case now we have num entities like we require to communicate between user equipment and e node b is a evolved node b so first of all there is a message from user equipment to the e node b and a message is rrc connection request that means user is demanding the user is sending a request message which is please connect rrc with me i want to access the service so there is that means at the e node b end there is a setup setup of R rrc connection for this particular user equipment and after setting up there is a response message back which is rrc connection response that means we have sending a request and now we require a response back message so in this case 
My setup is successful and I am connected to the E node B and RRC has connected me. So I can say this is a good case. So KPI that means we have number of user equipments requesting for our service. So we have a formula defined that RRC setup, RRC setup success rate and this is for service. Now this is equals to RRC connection success Now this divided by RRC connection attempt multiply by 100%. So if I have total number of attempt as 100 and out of which 90 is the total connection which is success. So I can say that my RRC service success rate is 90%. That means out of the 100, 10 calls or 10 requests are near being processed and the rest all are being processed. So this is my success rate is 90%. So this is the very first category of KPI which is RRC connection success rate for service. Now we have second which is also related to RRC but here in this service this is a case of signaling. So, which is same as success rate for signaling. The total number of success on the total number of attempt multiplied by 100%. Now, the KPI is always measured in percentage because we require a calculation factor. That means in percentage form, the total number of requests and accordingly the total failures or the total attempts. That's why we generally measure these KPIs in percentage form. So let's move to the next category of KPI and that is related to ERAP setup success rate. So third one is ERAP which is evolved radio access bearer services. So e, we have ERAP setup success rate. And this ERAP setup success rate is for voice over IP services. So E node B receives ERAP. That means when E node B receives ERAP setup request message, ERAP is a part of basically EPS, Evolved Packet Service. So ERAP is a part. Now radio access wearer are the various services. So whenever we have web services or a data service, so we require a setup of ERAP. So whenever it receives a ERAP request, so it has to make a connection so that data will flow. Total connection so that data flows of the service. Like I have used the VoIP service. So we require a ERAP request message, response message, a particular connection so that there is a data flow between two entities. Now ERAP identity that means what type of service that you are using is identified by MME. MME as mobility management equipment. Now, MME is basically the entity who initiated ERAP setup. Because all the radio access services are there with whatever the type of services which we are using is identified by mobility management equipment and then only e -node B can communicate with the user equipment. Like we have entities user equipment now E node B now I will draw here MME as a mobility management equipment 
Now the first message that means ERAP setup request as initiated by MME that we are discussing. So we have ERAP setup request. So this ERAP setup request is forwarded to E node B. Now E node B has to reconfigure here RRC. So here we have RRC reconfiguration. That means to check the resources again. Now when RRC reconfiguration is completed, that means RRC reconfiguration complete, then we have ERAP setup response. Now ERAP that means MME is connected to the serving gateway which has to route the package. So various services setup is initiated by ERAP. Now this is the case then MME is taking a step to initiate a request. That means there is a data at the data center and it wants to deliver to the user equipment. That means downloading case. Now we have a case of UE trigger ERAP setup also. That means UE also wants to uplink some data. So in that case, UE request to UE will start ERAP setup for MME. So now let's start with next case. So we have a case of UE triggered ERAP setup success. Okay, now how UE triggers? So again, we require entities like user equipment. Then we require E node B as a second entity, and we require MME. So these three entities. So first of all, it has to re uh, configure RRC. So it is sending a request. RRC connection request. Now there is a setup. Now we have RRC connection response. Request and response. That means our setup is completed. Initial message that means it wants to have ERAP. So that means the initial message. Now this initial message E node B will forward to MME as this one is the initial UE user equipment message for to attach to the particular equipment. Now first of all, now again it has to send up a setup request. So you can please set up a request. As it has to identify, so there is a message security mode, which is security mode command message. As security is applied only when UE is triggering for something. So we have a security mode command message. With this, we have RRC connection reconfiguration. Whenever we have message, so we have RRC connection reconfiguration. So with the reconfiguration, if we have reconfiguration complete, like we have completed the reconfiguration part, so we have ERAP setup. So only the different thing that first of all it is initiating for a message that we had discussed in the RRC connection message then there is a security mode command message whenever you want to access the network so i require to identify i require to make user secure so that's why here is a part now how to calculate kpi for this Now KPI for this is VoIP as we are using VoIP service. So we have VoIP evolved 
रेडियो एक्सिस वेयर सेटअप सक्सेस अपॉन वी हैव अवॉइड एरब सेटअप अटेम्प्ट अटेम्प्ट and this multiply by 100% again we require to measure in a percentage form so that's why we have set up in percentage form now this is we have major concern upon a service which is voip service now we have another service as erap setup success rate for all services so erap setup this being the fourth category erap setup success rate for all all type of services in also we have to measure a total number of request and the attempt message and then in a percentage form now next we have call setup success rate as call now there is a call setup success only when our rrc connection and erap setup is completely complete so that means call setup success rate is combination of both so we have call setup success rate which equals to rrc connection success upon rrc connection attempt this multiply by rrc connection success and the attempt this multiply by erap setup success divided by erap setup attempt and multiplied by 100% so as call setup success rate depend upon the rrc connection and the erap setup that's why we have a combination of both so whenever we require to measure our call setup success rate we have to check out rrc and erap set and again it is in a percentage form that means out of 100 if you are having 80s that is very bad that 20 calls are not connected properly so this is accessibility kpi that we have discussed so in this class of lt kpi we have discussed about total number of kpis and then we have focused on accessibility kpi we will continue with the next kpi in our next class thank you so much